TP-Link, a gigabit in your household over the power lines. This is the upgrade you need to upgrade to. If you've got anything you've had over three years on the power line stuff, this is the next stage to get up to. Internet speeds are getting faster. Tube in, my, in, in Cambly is up to a gigabit service. Virgin is now announcing a gigabit service and BT is announcing a, a two, almost a two gigabit service. But our equipment in the household is still ancient and slow. It's only 500 um, megabits. Um, and also you'll find the old power line ones are only half a gigabit in speed. And this is what you need to get to the next stage. So let's have a look, see what's in the box. See what you get for your money. 29.99, Currys, Argos, um, Amazon, you can get them on. Um, these are amazing and they are truly plug and play. So let's have a look in the box. What do we get for our money? So we get two boxes, uh, AV 1000s. They are literally um, having a, it's like having a network points in your bedroom. This is what these are. There's no Wi-Fi built onto them. They're purely just getting a cable connection into one of your rooms in the household. It, it kind of doesn't, you don't want to be running cables around the house. So you take one of these, plug it in one wall outlet near your router so you can plug the Ethernet cable and that patches in the back of your switch or your, or your broadband hub. And the other one, put it into the household where you need to get a wired connection to. Straightforward as that. Whether it's a laptop, PC, Xbox, uh, anything kind of needs a wired connection to. And right at the box, it will just pair itself it automatically. But in this case, I have got a power line cable. Bob, Bob, I've got a two, two way one away. This should just plug it in and it should just pair straight out of the box. Um, there we go, power on. First light's power, second light is the linked light, done. And the third light is obviously the connectivity and connection when you plug your cables in. And then it's straightforward that. And if, if it somehow the reason doesn't pair up at all, you can do this from a double socket like I've got here today. And you hit, hit the pair button for a few seconds and let go. And it will go into its cycle to repair the boxes again. And it's as simple as that. And then once it's all paired up, take your box, plug it in um, into um, your, your outlets and basically away you go. It's as simple as that to um, so easy. Literally no configuration, just truly plug and play. And I assume they will automatically firmware, sell, for, firmware, firmware update themselves over the internet. Um, and it's, it's as simple as that. It's a great piece of kit. True plug and play, plug in, Click on pair, away you go. Um, I saw these from my presenter a couple of weeks ago, about three weeks ago. Um, he's got two kits of these. And they all pair lovely together. So it doesn't matter how many you've got in the house, they're all will pair to it. I don't think there's any limitation of how many you can have as well. I mean, um, he, he's got four. We've put one by his router, the other three in different rooms in his house, connecting an Xbox, a PC, and a laptop to it. Uh, even a TV streaming box connected to it, perfect. Um, they're, they're AV 1000 gigabit service. So if you're running Tube, which has got a gigabit service, or if you've got Virgin, or if you've got BT's gigabit service, this is where you need to be on here. Uh, don't forget any old kit, um, it's over three years old, it's not gonna be truly a gigabit service, especially the power line stuff. They've always been around about the 300 megabits or the 500 megabits kind of thing. You kind of need these to upgrade in too. So yeah, and I assume with these, because they're plug and play, there's uh, firmware is automatically added to them when it comes out and it's, it's uploaded automatically. But it's truly acting like two separate Ethernet ports without, without running the cables around your house. So much more tidy as well. And they power save. So if they're not in use, they will power save and save power as well. Uh, keeping that in mind, especially with the prices of electricity going up these days, you kind of need devices that go into a power save and reduce um, power when they're not being in use which is amazing. It's a shame they don't build these in, say, switch off and have a sensory thing when the PC boots up or an Xbox kicks in, they fire up and, you know, but we might get there one day. But anyway, these, I don't think these take a lot of wattage on power anyway. They're pretty low, low key. Uh, as I say, they do go into power save mode. But AV1000 from TP-Link, Curry's, PC World, Amazon, 29.99, um, amazing. Anyway, if you like this video, hit the subscribe button. Uh, thumbs up if you like the video, thumbs down if you don't like the video. Or is there thumbs down anymore? Thumbs up anyway. Uh, any questions you've got on this, let me know because this has been running three weeks solid uh, at my presenter's house. This, these, this pair is going to his dad's home to get that upgraded. And I've also got a pair myself running in my flat as well, which is pretty awesome. So I can actually answer any questions you may have on this. 
So I will speak to you guys soon on the next video because I've got tons of boxes down here to review and make videos for. So I'll be making lots more videos for you and I'm going to be pushing one video out per week. Every Monday is going to be now instead of Fridays. We're going to get to see a new video coming up. I've got a lot more stuff to do with these coming up as well. So I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching and thanks for all the new subscribers. Keep it going. If you're, if you're, if you're watching my channel and you're, not hit, and you're not a subscriber yet, hit that subscribe button. Really hit, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you on the next video. It all helps at the end of the day. And remember, if you want to support my channel, go and buy me a coffee. It's um, buymeacoffee.com forward slash SMJ Media Group. Um, that'd be appreciated. And I'll see you on the next video. Hi. <laughs> Here at SMJ Media Group, we are a non-profit company supporting local businesses by making fun media content. If you like our content and would like to support us, please go to buyusacoffee.com slash SMJ Media Group and buy us a coffee.